it's time to rebuild our inshore fisheries. Legacy is totally committed to that lofty goal. To do so, we all need to do our bit. And that means for the public, shifting attitudes, expectations and behaviours, often long held. Utilisation of our catch is a great opportunity for us to lift our game. We've gone out there, we've caught the fish, we've iced it, brought it home. Now's the opportunity to really show some respect. Cut it beautifully. Give that animal the maximum respect possible. Now, share it. Share the bits that you're not going to eat and find someone in your community who truly appreciates that uh, rangatira kai, those treasures. And thirdly, of course, and above all, self-respect. For us fishermen, it's a great feeling to know we've gone the extra distance, uh, done the right thing. We're blessed to have the Outboard Boating Club of Auckland membership turning on to utilising their fish. They're really coming aboard in numbers, doing the right thing. Papatuanuku Kokiri Marae, reliable, turning up day after day, picking up these treasures and taking them home and sharing them with their community. What a fantastic case study and a role model for all of us. So here we are at uh, Araki um, in Hobson's Bay and we're here at the OBC, the Outboard Boating Club of Auckland. We started in the 1950s and uh, like-minded people got together and decided to start a boat club to enjoy uh, the social side of boating, uh, fishing activities and generally activities around the Gulf. We have today 1900 members who are active in the boat club and who continue to enjoy what the Gulf has to offer. So in trying to find a solution for the uh, fish byproduct that we had at the club, uh, we we're very fortunate to, uh, to have Legacy help us find a partner in Papatunika Marae. Papatunika Marae had a history of helping their community, growing vegetables and, and feeding people in a traditional way. We, we were very excited as they were to be able to work together and come up with a system of separating our fish waste from, with heads, backbones and offal and refrigerating that as it was caught and processed so that the marae could then process it further uh, and help feed their people. We together have been quite excited about where this has led and we're quite excited about the future uh, for this project to be rolled out right across New Zealand. And uh, we're very proud of the fact that Legacy, OBC and the Marae have, have uh, worked as one to provide a great outcome for the community. Yeah, here we are at the OBC. Um, got down here about quarter to six. We've managed to pick up a whole, whole heap of fish. Each spin carries about 20 kgs. Um, this weekend's been a really good fishing weekend. We had a pick up on Saturday and now here we are Monday morning. We've had most of the bins full, uh, which means that there's a, quite a bit to give out to the whanau and there, there's quite a bit to go into the, into the ground. Our philosophy on, at Papatūnuku Kōkiri Marae is uh, food is medicine and medicine is food. Rongo te kai, kai te rongo. And one of the ways we connect to uh, that philosophy is growing kumara. And what we've seen in the community is um, a lot of our people um, depending on fast food, unhealthy um, food that they live on. So um, kumara provides an alternative, a healthy alternative to that. Um, it also connects them to that philosophy, like I said. So we started a conversation with Legacy and OBC, the Outboard Boating Club in Tamaki Drive and they provided us an opportunity to pick up surplus fish heads and frames and we were only too keen. We knew that we had the capacity to accept those uh, taonga, what we call uh, rangatira kai and yeah we started that, we, we decided to call that uh, project Kaika. So at least once a week we uh, at OBC picking up the, uh, the awesome kai 
So far we've been able to pick up at least 4,000 kilos of um, good tonga fish uh, that we provide to the community. Uh, hey guys, um, Lionel comes over to the marae, he um, drops off the fish heads and I um, and, uh, feed it to my family and uh, the way I like it is um, a bit of pepper, a bit of salt, um, some uh, coconut cream, heaps and eats of coconut cream and it's, hey it's much better than McDonald's, I can tell you that now. And then sometimes Laino called Lita and then Lita collected the fish head and then she bring it, uh, you know, home and then, you know, make a soup and then enjoy, you know, with the family and friends as well. It's quite really fresh and, you know, good. Uh, we have all walks of life and all nationalities and all age groups that receive uh, the valuable Tonga. A um, couple of community groups that do receive it are the uh, boxing club uh, and the Nguyen Church, uh, a couple of lodges up at the old Mangere Hospital. Uh, they're all very grateful for this valuable um, food source um, and yeah we just can't get enough. So we're very grateful to Legacy and to ABC for you know allowing this opportunity to happen. <laughs> Tia, oh, my dear.